What a terrible curse. What shall ever we do? Or whatever shall we do? Wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? Man, this is gonna be such a horrible curse. I don't know what the heck is gonna happen. Oh, so it's like the... Oh, that's cool. It's like the cape in Super Mario World. Where you can kind of keep up. That's cool. Yeah, I must not have played this game then. I It must have been somebody else that had gotten the, the star. Because when I turned on the game to, to make sure it was all looking good, I had a save file on there that had one star. So, I don't remember this at all. So, I must not have played this then. Uh, Mario Goombella, look at that. There it is. The legendary door. The thousand year door. So we're here. We got to the thousand year door so we can we can end. We're here at the door, right? That's what the game's all about, right? Ah, uh, thousand year door spoken of the legends. I can't believe it's real. It's all about the stars. Yeah, it seems like that is a big thing with Mario. Last Paper Mario was stars, this one, and then Mario RPG is all about the seven stars, so. Uh, so the legends are true. There it is. Big as life. Come. Let's move closer. I'll move closer in a minute. I want to see what else is around here before I progress the storyline. I really wouldn't miss my spinning attack right now. <clears throat> to move through the areas faster. Like we did in the last game. Well, essentially, we didn't have that power up until later in the game anyway, so... Alright, here we go. Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Oh, I'm guessing... I'll probably stand on it? Yeah. Here we go. Professor, what's going on? Map. What build-up? Holy cow. So bright. This is going to show us where all the seven stars are, right? Oh. Extra place. Aha. I think it only, it only shows one at a time, yeah. Is there always this much dialogue? In, yeah, the Paper Mario games, there's a lot of talking and, and stuff, so... Location of the crystal star of a crystal star has been recorded. Your magical map. Mario has learned a special move. You can now use a sweet treat. And plus, it's the beginning of the game, so a lot of it they're explaining and going through all the stuff. Once we get into it, there shouldn't be as much dialogue. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Well, we don't have a crystal star yet, but we learned a new move. So, the map. And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm, it appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And what shining light? It looked like as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Good professor. Hey, that's sweet. It takes us right to it so we don't have to run back. Oh my god, there's so much dialogue in this game. It's like a novel with the game wrapped around it. Oh, really? I know there was a lot of talking in the last one, but once you got into the game and you just got to play through and you got to go do battles and stuff, and most of it would happen on, you know, in between certain chapters and all that, but... Hmm, I see. What do you see, Crazy Eyes? You understand it? Of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. Special move, yes. It, well, stuff like this is better explained by by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? No, we don't need to try it out right now. Let's just get moving. Very important, you better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No, thanks. And it's like every Goomba has to put in their two cents. Hmm, you're absolutely sure. Well, all right then. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the wow. Standing. This map has radar-like functions. 
It now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Roadport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. So we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that someone beneath the city is the pipe to metal, metal uh, Petal Meadows. Background thing is genius. I'll most definitely use it when I stream. Oh, this, the chat? Yeah. I love it. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyways? Well, Princess Peach sent it to me. Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you? This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, would it? It is. So it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars, my suspicious about Petal Meadows. How did you know about that, but... It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there's always a suspicious group asking about the same thing. You'll probably try streaming tomorrow. Okay, cool. Uh, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows. Because of Final Fantasy. Sweet. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up with her. Collecting the crystals is a means to an end. And that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around Princess Peach to switch his game. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. I have a suggestion, Glitchcog. How about all the games? Do a layout for every game possible. <laughs> that won't take you time at all, you know? Every game. All the games. Anyways. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come and see me. Okay. You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Okay, good. We are off. Excuse me. Wait just a moment. Oh my god, there is a lot of dialogue. Holy crap. Oh, he's giving us a hammer upgrade. Power smash. Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called the badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badge you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing that the effect will be when you first equip the badge. Would you like to practice? No. I know how to do all this. Absolutely sure. No thanks. Uh, you'll need flower powers, uh, flower points to use your power smash moves. In battle, you should watch your FP. Uh, okay. Can we go now? Thank you. Now oh, we got a badges thing here. We have badges points, so we're going to go ahead and we'll use one. Oh, and you can sort too. That's good. So now I can sort my gear. You can sort your badges. Right? Yeah, sweet. Hold on, I'm gonna go back into that. Oh, okay. Do you have any email? No. Types ABC. Okay, well that's that's good. Oh wait, I can go with specials. Sweet treat. Restores Mario and his allies HP and FP and cures potions. I wonder how much it actually restores, that's cool. Scalebound? Yeah, Scalebound looks interesting. Scalebound looks interesting. Yeah, if I can uh, get back to... Um, oh, wow, that's kind of weird that it really uh, lost frames per second there. The game's really jumpy when I do this. Anyways, uh, I'm starting to look for some new job stuff. Um, uh, because the one I'm at now is kind of turn, taking a turn for the worse, in a sense, we'll say. Um, but I would like to do it where, like, on weekends, I go out and, like, rent one of the new releases for that week or something, and we play that for the weekend. Maybe do, like, a Saturday, maybe a short stream on Sunday. I would like to maybe go back to doing that, because I'm not going to be able to buy all these games, but I would like to play some of them, um, just to see what they're all about. And renting is pretty cheap here. For, like, four bucks, I can rent, rent a game uh, for, you know, for a night or for uh, three days or something like that. Um, so we need to go... 
We need to go to the east, right? We can't go to the west because we can't... I don't have a contact lens yet. Ooh, look at all the stars. Tattle-log. Oh, okay, so this will tell us 124 tattles, so she can use... Well, that's kind of giving away stuff. The place, so your first three tattles are all in the same place. Anyways, well, that's kind of cool. But it keeps track of all the tattles. That's pretty sweet. And then the badges. Oh, it has all the badges here that you can see all in a nice thing. Oh, that's cool, too. All right, cool. So they definitely added a lot. It's pretty much essentially the same game as the first Paper Mario, but they've added to it. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Oh, well, they said there was a... Oh, they said that there was a pipeline to go to the place, but I do want to go through here. <clears throat> Locked from the inside. East Rogueport, this is a tough... Uh, this is the, I keep saying tough. This is the turf of Ishnail and the crew of the Robos. East, all the rundown you can ever tell. Okay, we already heard stuff like that. If you're down here, telling a reason to. Well, I don't really have one, but... That trouble center is the only place on the east side that other townsfolk come to. If the place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should, should drop in. Trouble center, I'm out of the office, please come again. That needs a key, so I spent $10 for pretty much nothing right now. I thought maybe I could make it. Alright, well, that's good to know, but so I guess we need to uh, go back down this, but I don't think there's another area I could go to down here. Oh, there's another paper airplane area. <clears throat> Sweet. Well, now we can, yeah. Now we can move on. Uh-oh. That thing's kind of soggy. Smack. Bloop, bloop. Ouch, that hurt. It's a blooper, right? Are we going to have to fight it, or is it going to help us? I'm guessing it's going to help us. Nope. Fight. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Who just up and whack someone? Someone's to tootsies like that. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Somebody with some serious moxie. That's who. Would you look at that? It's some scary mustache guy. He's in a world of hurt. Uh oh. We got our first big fight here. We give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey, Mario, you remember? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Well, alright. We're okay for now. We've got our special here we can use to restore as well. Let's go ahead and use a Fire Flower. Burn all enemies. Why not? Let's do it. Boom. Awesome. That worked really well. What? Oh, so wait, yeah. wasn't this thing about this crowd? Where we have one person in the crowd. We had two, and one guy just left because I didn't do a, a good attack or something. And they said, the better attacks I do, the more people I get in the crowd. So what does that do for me? The one guy in the crowd actually like that. And we just got somebody else. Now we left, so. I don't know, I don't get what the, the deal is with the whole crowd thing is. And now it's rolling. It was just doing two items over there, so I didn't know about that either. Still can't get that down. Oh, wow. I blocked that. Hey, it's gone. Crowd surfing. 20 star points. Nice. Yeah, see up there in the top left, you can see... I had a little picture of a shine sprite, and during the fight, it was flipping between different ones, so I don't know what that all had to do with. Ah. Can't do anything on this, because this is for boat. Oop, I almost jumped. Oh, no! Goombet, or Goombella, or whatever her name is. 
What is her name? Gumbella? Gumbella, yeah. Alright, there we go. This is gonna take us over the fields. 